yeah, it's part of the deal. Hey, and welcome to Siemensstadt. It's cold, there's some snow, and also the sun is looking out. So I think this is going to be a pretty cool day and a pretty cool tour. Well, we're currently at the underground station Siemens Dam, and well, you can see um, something of this square around here. I think there are a few quarters uh, in Berlin of which I have almost no idea, but this is one of them. And we're gonna light up things here and let's see what we can find. Of course, I did a little bit of research before I started this tour. Siemensstadt is in the west. It belongs to the district of Spandau and population and size are a little below average. The surroundings of this locality are very distinctive, however, you have a lot of water around here and you also have a few distinctive landmarks nearby, like the Volkspark Jungfernheide, the Autobahn and the former airport Tegel. I started my tour at U-Bahnhof Siemensdamm and went to the north. So. Uh, just a few meters from where I started, I find the first information tables. And as you can imagine, for someone who's doing a little sightseeing here, that's quite exciting. These tables in the background, I'm going to take a few photos for you so you can check them out. Uh, it's about this quarter, which was built, I think, in the 1920s. I haven't checked out the text yet, but it's um, another example of uh, modern housing here in Berlin and it's especially about the architect Hans Scharun. So yeah, check it out. And meanwhile, I will proceed and enjoy the good weather. What is a bit confusing is that the name Siemensstadt is both the name of this quarter and of the locality. I won't go into details of this quarter and its architecture, but I want to clarify that the name Siemensstadt comes from the German company Siemens, you may know them because they are quite big in things like washing machines and technical compounds. Siemens in the early 20th century developed this whole area, which was very swampy before, and you will learn more about Siemens later. So on the previous shots, you may have recognized the railway bridge in the background. This is part of a line which is currently abandoned. There are plans, however, to revitalize that line, which is called Siemensbahn. So again, the names referring to the company and to the whole quarter. According to these plans, Siemensbahn might be reopened in a couple of years. So I managed to grab me a coffee. And as I'm walking through a quiet residential area, my next goal is the entrance to the Volkspark Jungfernheide, which is one of the biggest parks here in Berlin. And the park itself is not part of the locality. However, it's quite nearby, so we might just have a short look over there. And as I'm walking there, in the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee. Here's a peek to the park. This is the Strandbad Jungfernheide, I might revisit it in summer when I'm actually going to show that locality. On the other side of the road of the Jungfernheideweg, you find the Wilhelm von Siemens Park. So the name appears again and yeah, it appears and appears and appears like here at the Karl Friedrich von Siemens Gymnasium, a higher school. So I've reached the northeastern border of Siemensstadt and out here it's quite green. The border is marked by a channel, which you can see in the background, or well, actually you can't see much of it, because well, what you can see is that there is ice. So the temperatures are so low that it's completely frozen, and it's probably okay to walk in it. However, I'm not going to try it. Whenever I come around this channel in summer, because it's, it's a relatively broad one, but wide and pretty quiet. 
I see athletes, rowers, and um, in fact the Berlin Rowing Federation has their headquarters nearby. And even now when I walked here I seen some athletes uh, running. So I guess they're still doing the training despite the temperatures of minus seven degrees right now. Well, I will proceed Zadming La Dam and then I will turn to the south again. So I will go back to the center of Siemensstadt. Behind me, you have a small island, or let's say it's the peak of this island, and the island itself is not that small. According to Google Maps, this is a business park, or well, the island contains a business park. From here, I uh, can't see much of it, but I guess we're gonna find out. It's pretty appealing to use the shortcut above the frozen channel. However, again, no, I'm not going to try it. So let's take the regular pass and see what's coming. I took the only bridge from the south and I enjoyed the great view on the frozen channel. The island in Silgartenfeld was not so exciting though. It's a commercial site, so what would you expect? I kept my stay there very short and preferred to go back to the south to see other parts of Siemensstadt. Especially this development site here is quite exciting because I have no idea about what's coming here. It's a huge area. And right behind it you can see traces of the former S-Bahn station Gartenfeld. This was the final stop of the Siemensbahn that I showed you earlier. And all of this is going to live again in a couple of years. So I'm walking along Paulsternstraße, which marks the eastern border of Siemensstadt. And over here we have some sort of a wild mix of commercial, commercial, pardon me, commercial and industrial uh, areas and also some residential. Like over there, oops, over there you have some new houses. This is already the neighbor locality. Uh, this side, in fact, as we're par passing by a discounter, is uh, Siemensstadt. And I've also seen a part of uh, the company Siemens, in fact. And now here, you will see in a second, it's getting pretty wild. There's some sort of gym. And then behind here, it's some Texas town. I have no idea what that means. We'll take a photo. Um, yeah, and then there's more commercial stuff coming. So I really don't get the best idea of this uh, area here, but yeah, <laughs> it's part of the deal. So yeah, I made it to another underground stop. Uh, it's called Paulsternstraße also part of the U7. And then also behind me you can see uh, Osram. Osram is um, a popular or a famous um, manufacturer of light bulbs. It's a German company. So this part here is very industrial, especially with the power plant, uh, which I will show you in a photo. And I'm gonna follow that big road behind me, this one which is called Nonnendam Alley. And it was for a long time the only road that uh, led from east to west over here. But it's quite noisy, so I better keep going. So yeah, it was pretty naive. Uh, it is in fact a big side of um, Osram. I'm not sure if they are manufacturing here or maybe just doing some uh, research and development. However, uh, all the buildings that you can see behind me belong to it. And I, I'm pretty sure that on the map uh, you can see how big this area is. So my apologies for me not knowing, but yeah, so now you know. 
I proceeded on Nonendam Alley and I slowly came closer towards Siemens and to their many buildings in the center of the locality. So it's like, do you notice when you're watching a movie and you think like, okay, that's a cool story and uh, all of a sudden there's a plot twist and you think what you've seen before doesn't matter. Now it's the real deal. So this is what it feels like for me currently walking along all these sides of uh, Siemens. Uh, here you can see part of it. Uh, here you can see part of it. I think that wants healthcare. Not sure. I, I just uh, uh, read those signs or those flags and looked up on Google Maps what this is. But it's just stunning. Um, I will show you a few photos of uh, this whole area and now I really know why it's called Siemensstadt because it is like a city in a city. So I made it. I made it all the way to the beginning where I started a couple of hours ago. It was really an impressive trip. A lot of new things some things of which I thought, oh my god, you, you thought you knew Berlin, but in fact, just a whole new site. So long story, so, uh, long story short, <laughs> it's time for me to say goodbye. Uh, I hope to see you at another tour. Feel free to subscribe or to comment on this video. And yeah. See ya soon. Take care.